Have you ever done any of the conventions or anything like that? That's like one of those more sterile environments with, uh, with yeah. uh, any of those bands back in the Creed days, we did, uh, ah, we did some weird stuff. We did, uh, I remember one show in particular, it was when blockbuster video was huge. Hell um, yes. Blockbuster video throwback. I love it. That's how old, that's how old I am. So <laughs> blockbuster. No, no, that's, uh, that's how classic you are. That's how classic you are, Mark. <laughs> oh man, no! It's uh, I loved Blockbuster when it was when it was uh, thriving. Man, I was just but, I was just next to the one that's it's now a massage envy by me. Yeah, and I was like, and I was just like I was picking up some food next there, and I was like, I looked over, I was like, man, I used to I used to go in there a couple times a week and pick oh, up. Yeah, it, was, it was fun to walk around and and find your video. Have you? We'll get back. <laughs> I'm totally digressing right now. But have, if, uh, have you seen the last blockbuster um, uh, documentary, documentary on Netflix? No, I want to. I want to watch it because that was a huge part of. Uh, like I said, like when me and my wife first got together, every single night we'd go to Blockbuster and get a movie. Right. I mean, that's what you did. Yeah. It was. And it was yeah. fun walking around, and you might split up for a second and go into the different genres, come back w with a couple of different, you know, options, okay. and you got to figure it out, you know. <laughs> Get to know the manager, let them know when that new release that's that's always sold out is back in stock. Right. All right, tell me when Top Guns comes back in. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you're aging yourself. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so uh, so uh, I think we went off on a tangent about Blockbuster there. But yeah, this, no. this was back when you were – so in that era, Creed is going to yeah. do one of these uh, more sterile – Like a corporate. A corporate. A like, corporate event. Like corporate right. kind of gigs, you yeah. know. So Blockbuster was putting on this event, and um, they had all their Blockbuster people from around the country come, and they had all the money in the world to hire all the current bands. So it was um, – look at this lineup. You had Leonard Skinner headlining which was killer. Um, you had uh, Backstreet Boys. Wow. Um, and you had Creed. I don't see a lot of crossover from those two, at least. I mean, I can see the no. Creed Skinner. I, ca I can't see too much of uh, Backstreet Boys Skinner. I can even yeah, see ba so I, I, yeah, the Backstreet Boys Skinner fan base. I don't think overlaps too much. I don't know. And it was a weird thing. You know, imagine you're stepping off. Or I can't remember if we were before or after Backstreet Boys, but... Uh, Imagine you got your, your guitars on and whatnot, and then you walk past these guys in their track suits, you know, doing, <laughs> doing their thing. And everybody was friendly and nice enough, and we had a, we had a great time. And, uh, but, yeah, those, we also did something that was really cool back in the day called the, um, the Blind Date. I don't know if you're familiar with those. I mm -hmm. think it was like the Miller Genuine Draft Blind Date. And they would, um, they would take a, oh, a big band. Did they, they, they used to run commercials on TV for those, right? Yeah, I mean those okay. were huge. They they would take a band that played arenas and they would they would pretty much pay them what they would normally make on a normal gig, but they would throw you in a house of blues or something or a small venue. So, I do remember these. I do remember seeing. I I never mm -hmm. been to any one or anything like that, but I do remember seeing uh, the advertisements mm -hmm. for those. They're super cool because imagine you're you're you go into this venue and there's a big drape in front of the in front of the stage. And then all of a sudden, Stone Temple Pilot starts playing. Like, oh, wow. You know, you, you don't know. It could have been you too. It could have been the Rolling Stones. It could have been right. whoever. But we did one of those. That was a lot of fun. See, um, that sounds more fun. I mean, back to like the, the more corporate thing. It's like, like mm -hmm. we were talking about. You don't have – you go in with a, with a creed or, or an altar bridge. And it's – people are, are, are relaxing. They're sitting down. And you're like, we've – in Avenge, we did one, and I don't think we'll ever do mm -hmm. one again. But it was a friend. We were in the yeah. is in the gaming world. We did Nightmare in front of all these people, literally in uh, in like what do you call those the the recliners? They literally have like <laughs> these nice recliners, and they're just watching us. And we're like, it was our first and only time we ever done anything like mm -hmm. that. You don't have that energy that you get from oh being, yeah being on a rock stage so can you can you uh empathize with that at all with that with, with oh it's that stuff's the worst you know yeah. it's um you know sometimes you just it's part of the business you have to do those kind of things every now and then you know it's uh right. um like doing um tv performances or whatever else that might be uncomfortable and not quite your thing but you got to do them to, to promote the band um those are my least favorite things to do, but they're sometimes the most beneficial. Have you guys, um, did you guys ever do uh Saturday night live? Um, yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. I, I've that never awesome. never done that. Um, can you? I mean, I I wasn't expecting to ask you about that, but like, what what what's that? I'm a huge Saturday Night Live fan. I, I recorded every Saturday. These days, I don't stay up late enough. Five year old kid. <laughs> uh, that uh, you know, I uh, I have to record it and watch it with my wife later on. But I've always loved the performances over the years. I think that that's one of those mm-hmm. things where. Like we're talking about, maybe not our your favorite vibe um, mm-hmm. of, of performance, but definitely an iconic, cool thing to do. What was that like yeah. for you guys? That was that was really cool. We um, when we got there, um, Billy Bob Thornton was the host. Oh shit! So he kind of came in and came and introduced himself. And uh, what movie was he promoting? There's usually <sighs> the host. Is I think this this, this was after Sling Blade. Okay. Um, but. Uh, so they said, you guys are going to do um, a song. And then if we have time, you can do another song. And I, remember, I forget what, what single we were on that we had played, but it wasn't half as fun as I think we were going to play Bullets at the end of the song, which was one of our heaviest songs. And um, I just remember watching through the show and going, please let us have enough time because that's such a fun song to play. And on TV, it's, you know, um, it would be a lot of fun. And, and finally I said, all right. You guys are back on. Get up there. So we got to do two songs. So you did Bullets, uh, and what else did you do? Well, um, I'm trying to figure out what era this was. I can't remember what the first song would have been, um, to be honest with you. I'd have to look it back up. Well, oh, we don't have to look it up. That's what people on YouTube can just let us know right down below. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and then I remember one of the coolest parts was at the end of the show, they bring everybody on stage, and they're playing the goodbye music, and all the actors and comedians come up there. The classic hug. And, uh, the classic hugs. I remember. Man. Oh yeah, Jimmy Fallon was one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. You know, got to right got on, to spend right. some time just talking with him for a minute, and then uh, Will Ferrell was on the show because he was. So this still is one all like cast. early two thousands cast. Is that late late nineties yeah. cast? Is that what we're looking at? So imagine that, man. J- Jimmy Fallon and Will Ferrell both on there. Um, Rad. I pretty much told Will Ferrell, "You're the funniest man alive," and he was he. Hey, thank, thanks. You know, <laughs> was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, wait, I was expecting a funny comment back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks. Beat it, kid. 